Hello, I'm Dale Leftwich with Real Agriculture. Today I'm with Doyle Weeb on uh, Doyle Weeb's farm just outside of Saskatoon. How are you doing today, Doyle? Oh, we're doing quite well, yes. It's uh, as, as wet as it is, it's uh, uh, actually uh, refreshing to see some rain again. Yeah, we're standing uh, outside of his shop and uh, he should be combining. He'd love to be combining, but instead he's uh, doing an interview with me. So I appreciate that. Uh, Doyle, um, I just want to talk about membership on on uh, farm groups. Uh, you're a member of a farm group right now, a commodity group, right? Yes, I'm a director on the uh, Saskanola Development Commission board. Yeah. And how long have you been a commissioner on the board? Uh, this is my sixth year. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, why was it that you decided that you wanted to become um, uh, a member of a board of directors on a commodity group like that? Well, I guess uh, I first uh, got myself involved in farm groups uh, six years earlier or so uh, with, uh, as I left uh, interest in both farming and business together, uh, that uh, was just farming. I shouldn't say just, but uh, that, uh, that as I was uh, not quite as, uh, as occupied with, uh, uh, with other things off the farm, uh, and, and for many years I'd gone to farm meetings and seeing... Uh, seeing uh, leaders in, of, of different uh, commissions and different organizations uh, uh, show what they were doing and, and, and uh, help farmers in, in some way. I, I guess I had thought that I, uh, with my business background as well as the farming itself, uh, I could maybe contribute some unique things to a board. And uh, so I had got involved with the uh, Soil Conservation Association and then that helped interact with some other commissions and directors and other, other groups. And uh, Saskanola was one of those. And uh, so when I had uh, finished my term with uh, with the uh, soil conservation group, I, uh, I kind of uh, thought, well, maybe I, I could further my uh, my uh, service work uh, in this way and, and help uh, help the industry uh, uh, with with the Saskanola board. So, so there wasn't one particular burning issue. Like you weren't t t really excited about one thing. It was a more um, a matter of service to the industry. Oh yes, uh, I. Uh, I was like, I guess, neighbors that I went and saw for my nomination who, uh, who didn't know uh, any more or, or less than I do about what even Saskanola did. Uh, I had a very, just a very general impression and I didn't uh, do the research work. I ended up uh, having a short time to decide uh, once I uh, thought of it. And uh, so, uh, no, I had no particular agenda, no uh, burning issue, uh, that uh, direction. I just thought that uh, from the people I'd met uh, and those that are going off the board that I could uh, possibly fill their shoes uh, in some way and, uh, and use my own unique uh, skills and, and education uh, and experiences to uh, to uh, work toward the uh, betterment of the industry. So a lot of people are really worried about the amount of time uh, that it gets put into these kinds of things. Um, uh, my sense of it is that uh, the 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 that you can kind of control that to a certain extent. Like there's some things you have to be to be, but the idea of being too busy for that this kind of organization shouldn't be the the reason to stop you. Is that right? Oh, that's right. It's very voluntary uh, that way. I mean, the, the board meetings themselves, we only have uh, uh, really four or two day meetings a year now. Uh, there are some other board functions that you're expected to be at, but most everything else is voluntary and uh, it's on, on, on your own uh, uh, initiative. I mean, uh, yeah, you can, as I have done because of my circumstances on my farm, uh, since then, uh, since I started, have allowed me to spend more time away from home as well. And uh, so I've taken on the opportunity uh, as, as the hands of other people maybe didn't go up and there was uh, needing to be somebody uh, serve on a different board or go to a different event that I've uh, taken an opportunity to do that and, and have uh, felt, felt good about that. Some people think that you have to be a grizzled old veteran too to, to show up at these meetings. Uh, you're actually looking for uh, people of all different uh, ages and backgrounds, I think, right? Oh yes, uh, for sure. Uh, there's always a, a breath of fresh air from from younger people coming on. Uh, we, we recognize there's value of some of us that are a little more gray-haired as well, with bringing different experiences to it all. Uh, but uh, the, the mix is always, uh, as each election happens, uh, there's a new mix of personalities, experiences, and and, and, and skills uh, that uh, really uh, add to the uh, add to the the mix and, and add to the, the value of the decisions that we make. I think that are that are just that much better uh, because of that variation. So there are quite a few different uh, commodity um, uh, groups. Uh, there's quite a few different commissions. Uh, what would be your general pitch? If you were going to make a pitch now and say, please get involved in any one of the ones of your choice, what would you say to, to farmers about being involved in their industry? 
Oh, well, uh, sure, I, my experience has been with South Canola, but uh, I've also met some very uh, good colleagues, uh, counterparts in the other boards. Uh, I think they're all uh, managed well and, and they have good leadership, uh, but also uh, can benefit from um, if you're growing the crop and, and, and have an interest in, in the uh, things that are affecting the, the value of that crop. I guess at the end of the day is that's that's what we're trying to do is increase the value of that crop, uh, keep the demand there so that we have a reason to grow it and and uh, whatever that is, uh, I, I think any of the commissions that are are doing the uh, the work on behalf of that crop uh, uh, have value and and would uh, would appreciate uh, the the new uh, new person coming in on, for that. So a lot of times people uh, will say that it's really it's about the service and uh, oftentimes other people will say that they gained more from the service than, than, than they actually uh, put into the organization. I, it might be a funny thing to say, but uh, in terms of your service to, this, to the organization, do you really feel that you've, uh, you've gained as much as the time that you put in? Oh, yeah, there's, there's, uh, the, the, to uh, quantify it is very difficult, uh, uh, and to compare, I guess, what you give to what you get. Uh, I just know that I, I feel I've gained a lot of, uh, uh, well, good friendships, but all with that, I've gained a lot of uh, new perspectives that I, I know I wouldn't have uh, by staying in my community only uh, for my own farming operation. Uh, but uh, with that, I, I hope I've uh, been able to contribute at least that much value uh, in the things that I've uh, that I've championed and uh, and the perspectives I've given. Uh, but uh, for sure, there's it's not just a. Uh, a, a take either it, it, it's uh, you, you give and, and you just you feel like you want to you want to give back uh, I think uh, once you've uh, also received uh, some some good uh, tips about different things and, and knowledge that you have for your own operation so. okay I just want to thank Doyle Weeb for uh, being with us on Real Agriculture today and for his encouragement to uh, all the people who uh, who are just on the edge of the fence it's raining here Doyle people have an opportunity to put in their uh, their uh, uh, application forms. Uh, so uh, I think it's uh, till the end of the month for uh, Saskanola and different dates for the other ones, right? Yes, I think so. As far as I know, I've seen different dates, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, this is the season uh, for sure. Okay. O okay, thanks very much, Doyle. <laughs>